Hey friends, Tux here. I am super pumped because I have something really cool in here. This is a emulation gaming computer. It's like a little mini computer that plays emulation games and it's available on Amazon at an amazing, amazing price. Let's go ahead and check this out. This uh, comes from Amazon in a nice little wrapper. Very, very cool. We got a little barcode here and this is the, that uh, looks like, well, this kind of burned off a little bit here. This is a FPVERA retro gaming console, okay? And again, I'll have a link for this bad boy right below. So be sure and click the link to yours at the most amazing price ever, okay? We're gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Got my little knife here. We'll get this out of the bag. And I love me some retro gaming, that's for sure. So I'm really looking forward to this. We'll see what ROMs are on here. Hopefully it's got some really cool games. We'll check that out and see if this is worth the price of a mission. Now, I see it comes with a cool little box that can kind of feel like a carrying case. So I always love that when you have like gaming systems that come in their own little box to keep everything nice and tight so you can take it to a friend's house or, you know, take it someplace and check it out on the go, which is cool. So here's our little case. Very cool. Oh, look at the name of this. This is a P-A-W-K-Y, a Pocky box. Okay, opening up the box, we'll pull this up here. We're unzipping, very cool, and hopefully I got this the right direction. Let me see. I believe this is probably the right way. And oh yeah, check this out. Everything's in this little place here. And we got a lot of cool stuff here in the box. We'll check this out together first off. There is a HDMI cord, so that's really cool. So you, you know I love new cords with new devices. And this will get it from the box to your TV. And I can always use an extra HDMI cord, so that's pretty cool. You can see HDMI right there. That's what that looks like, two-ended HDMI. Very cool, love having an extra cord. Now inside the instructions here, it's calling this the HD1007X wireless gamepad. So it's possible this gamepad is used in different emulation systems, but it's pretty cool. It comes with two of them. It looks like, kind of like, you know, again, like DualShock, like having your standard PS2 style controller. More about that in a second. And here is the, the Pocky Box instructions, okay? And it looks like they go through and, well, actually really nice color instructions here. It goes through the languages, configuring, the controllers, all sorts of stuff, hooking it up, kind of goes through step by step. And I like the way it's nice color instructions. I mean, these are pretty simple devices to hook up. Looks like we have some operational things here. It talks about um, the basic coins in emulator. Um, this runs off MAME. If you haven't heard of MAME, it's like a arcade ROM simulator emulator, okay? And it runs the actual pixel for pixel arcade game perfect, which is really cool. And we'll check and see how those games look in a few minutes. But um, all in all, it should do really good. Talks about you know actual coin up arcade things like you know for coin select and that kind of thing so you could probably run this through like a little eye pack or a ink interface that you could actually turn this into something that actually takes quarters if you want but enough about that um there's all the little hot keys and stuff so very cool we'll put this down for now checking out the little accessories here looks like we have a little nice little box here i'm assuming this is probably the power supply let's check this out and oh yeah check it out guys it comes with its own little power supply and this is interesting it doesn't actually run off of like USB-C or anything. This is like your normal plug-in power supply and has its own proprietary end. So it looks like your standard little round end. But these days, almost everything seems to run off of, you know, off of micro USB or USB-C. So it's interesting they, they don't run off that, but it doesn't really matter particularly. So it's cool. It comes with its own little power supply. So that's good. And then check it out, guys. We've got two, not one, but we have two controllers here. Um, these controllers have a pretty good amount of weight to them. Let's pull the bubble wrap off one of these bad boys and check it out. Um, these controllers are wireless um, and I want to say my previous I did one of these other emulation boxes a while ago and it had wired controllers um, this one here it looks like maybe this needs to charge or it looks like there's a small screw here that's interesting it looks like this should pop open here um, this little back part really tight I'm probably gonna I feel like I'm gonna break a fingernail or something crazy. All right, I'm not gonna pop this off right now. It looks like there is a screw here, which is interesting. I would kind of think this would be rechargeable, but I'm kind of not seeing a like micro USB way of charging it. So I'm assuming it runs off batteries. It was in the on position in the actual box, which is kind of interesting too. The controller itself feels really good. I'll give it that. 
Joysticks are nice and springy, feels just like a dual shock two should feel like. Um, very good amount of springiness to it. All the buttons feel like they're a proper distance. These might feel like they're a little bit further away than actually a PS2 controller, just by like a millimeter or two. Um, nice rubbery buttons here, feels like authentic PS2 rubbery, which is really nice. This is texturized on the top. It's it's like a ribbed top, which is really nice. It, it legitimately feels like a PS2. And the weight of it doesn't feel like, sometimes these you know emulation controllers or like PS2 knockoff controllers will feel really cheap and really lightweight, but this has a good amount of feel to it. This feels like a normal PS2 controller. In fact, once you get a battery in here, okay, if it does take a battery indeed, um, I would suspect this would feel very authentic weight-wise, but um, I'm pleased, this feels good. This feels good in your hands, ready to rock, get all the triggers you need, play all sorts of great games. I'm hoping for some good PS2 games. And you can see it does, of course, include two controllers here. So you get the whole thing. You can play with a buddy, which is really nice. You got two controllers, um, which is great for playing with friends. Okay, now the main course here. Check out this great little box here. We'll take a look here. And, oh, wait, there's something else here. Oh, these are okay. These are wireless. And it looks like you do have to plug in wireless little doggle so that makes me feel like this controller could probably be used really good for like pc gaming too which is an interesting side that you actually get two like pc gaming joysticks okay and then you don't want to lose these it would be nice if these like little wireless doggles here these would actually they're for controllers it doesn't really say one or two on it which is interesting um and it doesn't really have a place to store them so you don't want to lose these because if you lose these little bad boys you're kind of out of luck as far as using those controllers so be sure not to lose your little wi-fi connectors for that it'd be kind of nice if it was kind of built into the box um but for the price you know what it's still an amazing deal now looking at this box oh my god this is adorable guys check out the pocky box it has an adorable little 8-bit like little cosplayer in like a Pokemon or dinosaur outfit. Very, very cute looking box. Loving the colors. This is actually better looking than some of the other emulation boxes I've seen out there. And keep in mind, this is like a little like a little computer, like a little Android computer that you could probably use for other things besides emulation. If you wanted to, you could probably put Linux on here or do all sorts of other things on here. Um, and I could almost get into like a, you know, putting like hacker viruses on it. Like there's a lot of cool things you could do with a little box like this for coding. You could turn it into all sorts of great little applications. So it's really a great little computer for that price. Um, it does have a SD card built in. And do note this, this is interesting. It actually has like a little sticker covering the SD card slot. They do not want you removing that um, for the games are in here. Now, theoretically, on any of these emulation computers, you should be able to pull out that card, put other games on the card, and stick it back in. I may save that for another video, but it's interesting that it has a sticker. I think it's the first emulation system I've ever seen that actually has a sticker actually actively covering that card from coming out, the memory card from coming out. Now, there's two spots here for the controller, so very interesting. I guess you could use wired controllers, or you could just stick in your wireless doggo. So I guess once you stick these in, you probably can just leave these in like that and um, not lose them. This is probably the best way of not losing those controller Wi-Fi signal um, doggles. So very cool. Um, looking at the box itself, we got some little things here. We have a power like on and off button. Okay, on and off. We have, this is the actual power cord. So this is where you'd stick in your cord. Okay, so we got the cord right here. Just kind of goes in just like that. Very simple. There we go. Plugs right in. Very good. I'm gonna unplug it for the purpose of showing in the video, but you gotta get the idea how it goes in. And right there's your HDMI, so that's where you take your HDMI cable that we talked about earlier and kind of plug that in, and that goes to your TV set. Okay, so um, this is video out to TV in. Okay, there is a Ethernet port. That's interesting. So that like leads me to believe that maybe you could download other games onto this or something, or just use it as actually a little Android computer, a very adorable little Android computer at that, okay? Uh, and then spinning it around, again, we talked about these, two USB, micro USB spot, and that is pretty much it for different types of connections on it. Um, on the box, on the bottom here, it does have a vent for the fan. You can kind of make out the CPU sitting right there, so it looks like there probably isn't a whole lot of ventilation, but usually these little boxes don't actually generate a whole lot of heat, so you'll probably be okay um, playing this as is. Looks like you have three little rubber feet, one, two, three, and it's interesting you have three feet, but then there's two spots right here. It looks like this here 
and this here is made for a rubber a rubber foot or something it's interesting it doesn't have that but it has three rubber feet here so i'm not quite sure what the deal is with that like maybe it's used for some other system and this particular pocky box um just decided that it would not use rubber feet there and there maybe it's cheaper just to have three little ones as opposed to two big ones um very interesting all right let's go ahead and plug this in and check out some games Okay, so we got the Pocky Box all hooked up here. I'm just filming off the monitor. You can see we're kicking off here at Super Nintendo. Looks like uh, 1232, a lot of games right there. So that's really good. We'll come back to these in a second. Uh, Super Graphs, we got five. Vector, oh my gosh, 71 Vector games. That's really cool. Virtual Boy, 29 games. Oh my gosh, this can make my head spin. Uh, Wonder Swan, 112. Wonder Swan Color, 91. The Sharp 6800, 806. That's really cool. Sinclair. 5,252 games. That's massive. Oh my gosh. And then we have here all systems, a total of 41,490 games. You can make your favorites, which is really good. Uh, Omega, Omega, we have 1051. Commodore Omega, 1,200, 4,000. Um, all sorts of systems here. 2,600, 643, 5,200, 73, 7,800, 64, 800, 5,000 Atari 800 games. That's crazy. Linux 76, Atari ST, 4,700, uh, 42. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. Some kind of rare systems. Commodore 64, Dreamcast 24 games. Whoa, that's cool. And check out Arcade's 96 games. Disk system, that's like a family comm system. Game and Watch, oh my gosh, this list is huge. 263 Game Gear games. Game Boy, 493. Game Boy Advance, 1,000 games. Game Boy Color, 500. Genesis, 890. And Television, 159. MAME, 1927. Those are arcade ROMs now. Okay, Sega Master System, uh, 492. You can just, it goes on and on, guys. So many great systems. Um, this could just be a lot of fun for sure. Wow, Nintendo 64, 256. Oh my gosh, there's some rare systems out here. DS, that's great, 15 games. Neo Geo, 81. Neo Geo, 175. The NES, originally 1,500 games. Neo Geo Pocket. Pocket Color, Odyssey 2, Beats of Rage, five games. Oh my gosh, Turbo Graphs. Like, I mean, really tons and tons of systems. Pokemon Mini, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen that on an emulation system built in. 15, oh, PlayStation Portable, 22 games. PlayStation, 59 games, that's cool. Sega 32X, we got 37. Sega CD, 2. SG-1000, 68. I mean, just so many great games, guys. Like, a lot of fun to be had for sure. And I do have the volume muted, so I don't get copyright strike for, for music or anything. I just want to hit a couple of these real quick. Just take a quick look and see what we have going on here. Um, looking at MAME, um, Genesis. Boy, it's so many cool stuff. Um, let's go ahead and just pick a couple at random here. Let's um, take a look here. I want to take a look at, let's see, Atari. God, where do I start? There's so many amazing things here, guys. Um, I am really, really in awe of all the amazing different systems that are on here. Um, let's check an oldie but a goodie. Let's try the Vetrix here and take a look. Um, 71 games. We'll hit start here. Looks like there's emulation system settings, all sorts of things you could do. Um, let's go ahead and start this. And look at all these great games here. Oh my gosh. Um, all good things. Wow. Some of these I don't think I've seen on emulation systems at all before. Art Master. Oh my gosh. Berserk is a game which is really not on a lot of arcade uh, emulation like console games. So it's great to see that actually on there. And going down, I think they have a cool version. Um, let's see here. Boy. Clean Sweep, Cossack Storm, just so many cool games, man. Victor is like a really great, like a early, like our like home system, but it was made to play these like these vector graphic games that was pretty advanced at the time, actually, way back in the 80s. So it's cool to actually get these in original vector form. Um, Scramble is a really cool game that I think was never a vector game originally, but it's interesting they actually made their own version of that. So very cool stuff. Star Castle is an original vector game, which is a lot of fun. Um, here we'll go back here and check out a different system. Let's take a look here. Uh, boy, Super Nintendo. I'm sure there's going to be some amazing things on here. Let's take a look here. Just so many great games. I'll just kind of scan through here without saying all the names because there is a lot of names to go through here. I love the way it has the original boxes and artwork there too, which is really cool. So kind of gives you a taste of the retro life back. And oh my God, Aliens. So many Alien versus Predator. So many great games, guys. Oh, 
this definitely takes me back to retro gaming fun, you know? And some of these look like actually arcade ROMs, but I guess they're just really good, like, you know, Nintendo cartridges based on the arcade games. So really good stuff. Oh, Beavis and Butthead. Oh my gosh. I've been watching the new Beavis and Butthead. It's pretty funny. <laughs> um, it's on Paramount Plus. Um, just so much good stuff, guys. So many different games. I'm only on B. Okay, I'm only on B right now. So again, it just goes through game after game after game. So much cool stuff. A lot of the classics, a lot of rarities. I bet you Zombie Ate My Neighbors is on here. That's a classic I used to play a lot. Clay Fighter. You can spin through these. You have faster level. I seen Doom a second go there. Going through, going through the different letters. Let's just check the Mario's real quick. Make sure we got lots of Mario action here. Oh yeah, so we have all sorts of Mario games, Mario early years. Lots of cool things. You know, some of these I've really never seen that much. Mario Paint. Oh my God, that's like a classic, guys. So much good stuff. If you have any particular questions, let me know in the comments below. If there's a favorite game of yours you want to see or something. But really, it looks like they got all the bases covered here with like all the great classics. So really cool. All right, just for fun, let's hit the PlayStation. Let's see what we have for PlayStation games. Now, originally, PlayStation was an amazing system. Um, I want to say the PlayStation Home, like the PlayStation Retro Console, didn't have that many games, really. But, oh, yeah, check out this guy. All the classics, man. Battle Read to Shinden. That was the original classic launch title. We got the Crash Bandicoot series looking really good. Duke Nukem. Lots of good stuff. Final Fantasy games. A lot of fun there. Mega Man games. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Very nice. Mortal Kombat 4. Oh, Need for Speed. Oh, such a classic. R-Types. I love R-Types. It's so good. Ridge Racer 4. And now, one criticism is this one. I wish it had the original Ridge Racer. And it looks like this here is, it says Ridge Racer. Oh, this is Rage Racer. Okay, that explains it. I noticed a lot of these systems don't have the original Ridge Racer. It's Ridge Racer 4, Type 4. And then there's Rage Racer. I don't know why they wouldn't include the original Ridge Racer, you know. Uh, Street Fighter games. Tekken, oh my god, such classics. Remember the original Tekken when that came out? That was mind-blowing. That could be on a home system. Oh, Twisted Metal 2. Uh, just such great stuff, guys. Lots of great systems. Um, I'm loving all this stuff, seriously. Very good stuff. It launches in very easily. Goes into the emulation. And you can actually play these great games and just have some just really amazing retro fun. I like that even the way the outsides of the screen have kind of like a PlayStation border up here, you can see. So really cool. Um, again, I'm just shooting off the camera, off the screen. So very cool stuff. Oh my God, I'm getting all sorts of retro vibes here looking at this great retro PlayStation game. So Tekken was just such a great, amazing game for its time period. Very, very good stuff. Now I wanted to show you just a little bit of gameplay here just to see how this feels. And so far, let me take a little, little I've never been the best at Tekken. In fact, I'm definitely a little bit rusty at this, but the controls feel good actually. The controller feels very good in the hand. Definitely springy. There we go. Paul, I'm an, I will not let Paul defeat me here. Let me at least, oh, maybe I will let Paul defeat me. Oh, no KO, there we go, I won. Um, yeah, so it definitely feels really good in the hand. There's not a lot of lag or anything, it's just exactly what you'd expect you know, from a retro PlayStation emulation. So, very cool stuff. Round two, ready? All right, one more round here. Let me go ahead and beat this little guy here and show you guys that this is definitely the A-game retro. There we go. Just doing little kicks. Actually, it looks like I might lose here. One hit. Oh my gosh, I lost. The terrible, terrible. All right. Good stuff. A lot of fun, guys. Totally recommend playing this retro box. You cannot beat the price. Okay, to recap, a lot of retro fun here, guys. Like, this makes a really great gift. And the fact that the price is so low, it actually makes it just a great little computer as a whole. I mean, besides the fact, again, adorable, you know, very cool Pocky box. Um, the fact that you're getting the little Android computer, okay, with game ROMs apparently put in there, not to be removed, okay? You get two PS2-like DualShock controllers, okay? And a great little carrying case for it. All the wires, adapters, power supplies, everything you need comes with it. So it's really a great little setup, you know, and it doesn't really cost a whole lot of money. So this might be something perfect coming up for the holidays. It's already 
almost at the time of filming this, it's almost September. So there's like only a few months left before Christmas. So this could make a great little Christmas gift for you or someone you love, okay? Check out my link down below. Again, I'll have the best price for you. And I think this is one of the lowest priced Android gaming emulation computers I've seen ever, you know? And it makes it just a great value. So I'd pick up two, pick up one for you, pick up one for a friend, use one as emulation box, pick up a second one, use it as something else, like a little Linux box. If you've ever been curious about running Linux, I could easily see how you could put Linux on here and you know you could actually use it like USB from here you know to a different external you know memory card flash drive whatever you want to use you know a hard drive you know and you could actually turn this into a full fudge Linux computer I may actually do a follow-up video down the road of doing just that but it's a great little price I mean the price I'll have the lowest price for you and just it's a great little system so I'd recommend picking it up okay if you guys have any questions about this pocky box let me know in the comments below I'm here to help you guys I hope you guys check out all the great games on it I think it, for the price it's a lot of fun okay and it's very expandable too because it does have a slot where you could theoretically put another card in there now one last little word of warning especially with game systems like this it's important to make a backup of the original flash drive so in case you screw anything up you have a backup so if you're thinking about removing this my advice honestly would take this out and immediately make a copy of it and use the copy to put bigger better games on there okay if you really wanted to but again there's a lot of amazing games built right in you know as you can see but at least that way you have the original copy or at least save as a file on your computer or laptop that way you have that original backup should you screw anything up or here's a great idea just buy it and enjoy it as is because there's a lot of great games in here and the price is so so good it's really a good value guys all right all right, friends, I'm going to go play some more games, okay? But I just want to say thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Click the link, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.